We recently spoke to Venezuelan opposition leader Julio Borges, who fled the country to escape being killed by the government of Nicolas Maduro. Here's part of our conversation. When you hear young Democrats identify themselves as socialists, mm -hmm. what's your response? Well, I'm shocked, you know, because I, I can talk by my experience in Venezuela. Uh, socialism in Venezuela has meant uh, expropriating thousands of uh, companies and uh, losing millions of jobs in the name of the poor people. But at the end, it has meant to abolish freedom, to abolish progress, to violate human rights, all in the name of socialism. So uh, for me, there is no reason why some people can uh, back up and support this kind of ideas right now when the world needs free trade, democracy, progress, and human rights. We, we know that under socialism, the rich get poorer. But the promise is, what they tell us is, that the poor get much richer. Mm -hmm. Is that true? On the contrary. Venezuela was one of the most richest countries in the world. It was a, a, a land where the people went in the 20th century looking for, for progress. And now we are in a real misery. Five million people has left Venezuela. And uh, in the name of socialism, uh, economy has been destroyed and uh, there is no freedom in order to do whatever you want to do and we have the probably the highest hyperinflation in the history of the world uh, we can we could end this year with one million percent of hyperinflation and this is a direct consequence of the system to control price expropriation a state trying to control everything in the economic sector and it has been a real failure producing more and more poverty in venezuela this has happened as far as i know in every place that comprehensive socialism has been tried why do you think people keep trying it or keep supporting it well sometimes you see for example socialism has been a failure not only in venezuela also in nicaragua or yes. cuba in latin america in eastern europe in this former Soviet Union, former Union. So there is no one single example of a good success of socialism, because socialism at the end always ended in totalitarianism, in a dictatorship. And in the case of Venezuela, we are beyond a dictatorship. Right now, we are like a failed state, like a narco state. And all over Venezuela, there is no institutions but corruption and different groups trying to, to get the money from the oil. And so always that is the, the end of any socialistic uh, scheme to, to any democracy in the world. Well